popular question among many people of how much is a bit worth in the pony world. Well, once when I was on a forum, I saw a question, how many bits do you think equal one dollar? And I wasn't just going to give a simple answer, this is what I think. No, I actually wanted to be crazy, do the math, and find out a scientific or mathematical reasoning of what they're worth. Now, obviously, since we don't know right away, we have to go to theories. I had my multi I have my few ideas. The first one is simple. You can just go by the common fact that two bits equal a quarter, therefore one bit is twelve and a half cents. But I don't want to just do that. I want to see proof from something that shows it itself how much it is. So I took my numbers based off of the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic app. Now, right away, I knew that bits could not be that valuable. My reasoning behind this is if you think about it, it costs 200 bits to clear a small bush in the game, it costs 500 to clear a small little rock, basically a little bigger than a pebble, I mean, you can hold it in your hand. So obviously they're not that much. And there was even an episode, Fluttershy by the chair, what was it, like two bits, maybe more? At least, so if you're saying a bit is a dollar already, then it's like two dollar cherry at least. It's like, that's an expensive cherry. I don't think their economy sucks. They got Celestia as the ruler. Anyways, so what I did is I took all the shops that I had bought, which included all of them that already cost bits. I don't, I didn't buy any gems, except I do have a toy shop, and I don't know if that costs bit or gems because... They gave it to me for free, it was a special they were having, and I don't know how much it originally cost. But in total, I had 23 shops. Each shop sells two items in them, which gives me a total of 46 items I tested. Now, these are all the shop numbers that I was using. So basically, I figured, to make this a little easier, I figured out how many bits each shop makes in an hour. Or not just the shop, their item, I should say. So, these are the numbers I ended up getting after that. Now, I noticed every shop is around the 150 to 325 bits on, on average, around that area. Except these little shops, such as the cherry stand or the windmill. These are actually making in an hour about like 1800 to 2000 or more bits, which is insane. But the, there's a fun fact which re explains why that is. It says, since you only have to wait a minute and 30 seconds at the windmill for 45 bits, if you were to collect every time its time is done for an hour, you will have 2,076.92 bits. Now that's without the third extra pony. The hospital without that third pony gives you 3,750 bits in 25 hours though. But that means in one hour it only makes you 150 bits. Therefore, the windmill is technically the most valuable shop of them all. Just a little fun fact to those of you who are trying to make some money. Now, because these little shops were so far off in their numbers from the rest, I decided not to include them because I didn't think they would make my numbers more accurate. I thought it messed it up. So, I added the amount of bits together from all of the shop's hourly wage and got 7,827 bits. The average amount of that was 195.68. Um, now, when you're going to decide how do you turn 195.68 into our money, well, that's just the thing. You don't know exactly how you have to pick a number that we already use. Because this is fantasy money, we need real money, so I needed a real number. I decided to make an... Um, educated guests and I went with minimum wage for that made most sense to me of seven dollars and twenty five cents now like I say it should give me a good number but not a hundred percent accurately reliable for we don't know if the ponies use minimum wage and we don't know if they do how much their minimum wage is it could be a lot more it could be a lot less but by using the seven dollars and twenty five cents, I divided that into the hundred ninety five point sixty eight and got twenty six point ninety nine 
Now, obviously, this can't mean dollars, because if we're saying how many bits go into a dollar, it can't be $27 goes into one dollar. That doesn't make sense. So we had to move the decimal over and make this sense, giving us 27 cents. Now, all this, through this time, there was these decimals in it, and it's like, can you include a decimal in bits? Can you have 0.6 of a bit? We don't know. That doesn't... It all depends on what you think. But I went through it without the decimals again, and I still got 27 cents, so it doesn't matter if you include the decimals or not. Now, I decided just to see, maybe those shops make more than minimum wage, which doesn't really make sense that these little shops are going to make more money, or f pay more than the big ones, even though they do. I'm talking about real life. But anyways, uh, but I so I included their numbers, and when doing all that same problem, I ended up getting 57 cents. So therefore, the, according to this math, a bet is worth a little more than a quarter, or a little more than a 50 cent piece. So, in conclusion, I found this interesting because this is similar numbers to the two bits equal a quarter theory. Although these are only one bit, it's still similar. It's around the quarter range, you know? So, this, although we don't know a hundred percent what the exact number is because there are multiple theories, we do know, and this confirms, that a bit is not that valuable. So, don't think it just because they look gold. They're not valuable. So how many bits does equal a dollar? Well, if you go with that simple one of two bits is a quarter, then it'd be eight bits. If you go with the 27 cents, then it'd be three and seven tenths of a quarter, of a, uh, of a bit would equal a dollar. And if you went with the 57 cents, you'd only need one and seven tenths. Now, should you include that seven tenths? I don't know, that depends on how you decide to look at it again, like I said, there's multiple options, point is, bits are not that valuable, case closed.